Are you currently in the military or previously served in the military and now you're charged with a misdemeanor offense? Well, you have more options than you think and we're going to discuss that in this video today. I'm attorney Jonathan Mendoza and for years I have helped people in their criminal defense matters. I recently had somebody come into my office who had served, the mil served and currently in the military for many years, over a decade, had done multiple tours, no criminal history, but now recently, unfortunately, was charged with a misdemeanor offense. And of course, was my, the client was extremely distraught. How is this going to affect their ability to own a firearm? How is this going to affect their retirement, etc.? So of course, we sat down and we laid out a plan and I discussed what's called military diversion. So what is it? Well, in a nutshell, is that if you qualify for military diversion, you complete a certain program. It could be counseling, medication, AAs, NAs, it's really depending on your particular case. And the end result is your case is dismissed. You don't plead guilty and you don't have a record. So how does one get into military diversion? Well, number one, you have to be charged with a misdemeanor. Now here's the great part. Under the statute, there is no excludable offenses. There's just nothing there which means domestic violence, DUIs, theft, um, drunk in public, drugs, possession, any misdemeanor offense uh, does, is eligible for military diversion. Number two, you have to be have a service-related injury. And so what does that mean? Well, PTSD, anxiety, depression, even a physical ailment, maybe you lost a limb, etc. If you have a service-related injury, then you're on the right track to getting military diversion. Now, of course, if you just entered the military a month or a few months ago, then chances are it's gonna be difficult to argue to the court that you do have that service-related injury. Now that you have an injury, now that you're injured, now that you have a disability, but it's service-related. And then number three, and the most important, is you have to be found suitable by the court. So how does that happen? Well. You likely will get referred to an agency, that could be the VA department or uh, mental health, who will then interview you and create a report, which will discuss your service, um, any tours, it'll discuss a particular case, um, your diagnosis, etc. any comments you make. A report is made, sent over to the court, who will then review it and through a panel discussion, uh, through representatives of those agencies, as well as the DA and defense counsel, um, who will then try to argue whether you are suitable and you should be granted uh, military diversion. So sometimes that becomes uh, an issue, right? It depends on the particular offense. Let's say um, it's multiple DUI, maybe it's your second time DUI. Well, more than likely the DA's office is going to argue against it that you're not suitable, but people still get in. So you got to try. And it's important that if you are charged with a misdemeanor, you tell the court or your attorney, I am in the military or I previously served and I was honorably discharged. So if you were in Vietnam, uh, if you were in uh, Iraq, etc., you know, those are things that you want to bring up so that way you at least get referred out for that screening. Because like I said, if you do get you do get it, your case is dismissed and you don't have that criminal conviction and really all the other terms and conditions that um, that you would get had you just pled guilty, which is probation. Uh, and really high fine, maybe some classes, etc. Any questions, please feel free to let us know. Here to help. Uh, we do this regularly, and it's a great benefit for those that are serving uh, or have previously served or are in the military. Thanks.